Hello, this is Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. It looks like I'll be delivering the first Nintendo Direct of 2014 directly to you. For global broadcast, we usually start streaming Nintendo Direct in the morning, so thank you to our live stream viewers for joining us at this later time. For today's first title, we have a new trailer. Please take a look. You ain't done yet. Yeah, feel the burn. Keep it up, son. Pick up the pace, baby. Shoot it! Jab, jab. One, two. Faster, faster. Hit him, baby. Get serious, kid. Smash him. Straight. Uppercut. Punch, punch, punch. Give him the good. It's your time, man. Show him what you got, baby. One, two, keep it up, son. Jab, jab, hit him hard. Uppercut, body blow. Tie that armor up back. Don't flinch. Hit him, baby. Straight. Counter. All right. Smash him. The punch is mightier than the sword. You ain't no air fighter, man. Quit fooling around up there. Smash ain't no joke. All right. Shake it off, son. Build up the power meter. Now, Matt, let it rip. World's waiting for you, kid. Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U will launch in 2014. Next, let's take a look at some Nintendo 3DS titles. First up is Mario Golf World Tour. Here we we discussed many of the game's traditional features in the past, but today I would like to introduce a new single-player mode, the Castle Club. In this mode, players use their new characters to play through Yo. the game. Player can customize their Mii using the eight types of items that are sold at the shop. Items like clubs, golf balls, and clothing. Depending on the combination of items you choose, changes will be applied to various abilities like shot properties, distance, and control. So please customize your Mii to suit your favorite look and playstyle. Winning tournaments at the Castle Club will let you enter higher class tournaments. And to brush up on your skills, you can also utilize a special type of training facility that lets you focus on certain areas you might not be good at, like padding or approaches. We hope you'll see the Castle Club to polish your skills and to prepare for tournaments against rivals from around the world. Mario Golf World Tour is scheduled to release on May 2nd. We hope you won't mind waiting just a little longer. Next up, let's talk about Kirby Triple Deluxe. Kirby games have always been easy to pick up and play. But as Kirby fans know, there's always a lot of depth hidden just below the surface. Each copy ability can be used for lots of different actions. As you can see, when Kirby inhales this energy and copies its ability, he gets beetle powers. He can do so many things with just one ability. Next, there are two other things 
I want to talk about in Kirby Triple Deluxe. Firstly, there is a huge number of collectibles for you to find. For example, these 8-bit keychains you can find hidden in levels. It's a real challenge to find them all, especially if you are also collecting all the sandstones. You find sandstone in levels too, and they'll help you progress in the game. Find them all, and you'll get a special bonus. I also want to talk about some of the Nintendo 3DS specific features in the game. Those keychains I mentioned earlier can be gained through the Street Pass features too. As you play through all the levels, sometimes you run into a special waddle dee. He's there to throw you helpful items in times of need, and if you have a Street Pass encounter with someone beforehand, you'll get even better items from Waddle Dee. And if the person you street pass tag has the game too, you even get a key chain in the game. Kirby Triple Drax for Nintendo 3DS also launches on May 2nd. Next up is Yoshi's New Island. As Yoshi advances through each stage, he carries baby Mario on his back. But when Yoshi is attacked by enemies, Baby Mario gets caught inside a bubble and becomes separated, causing a timer to start counting down. If the timer hits zero, Yoshi will fail his mission, so it's up to Yoshi to protect Baby Mario. Unlike in traditional Mario platformers, Yoshi's stage do not have a set time limit, so you can take your time exploring the biggest new features of the game are easily the giant eggs. They are called Mega Egg Dozers, and when Yoshi throws one, he can destroy pipes, blocks, and much more. And so can these. They are called Metal Egg Dozers, and you can roll them across the ground, and even underwater, where you can normally go. Another key feature of the game is Yoshi's unique set of transformations. In this title, there are transformation types such as the rock-breaking jackhammer or sea-exploring submarine, all of which can be controlled using the gyro control of the Nintendo 3D. And when you acquire a certain type of star located in some stages, Yoshi can power up and become Super Yoshi. He'll fly like a shooting star through the sky or temporarily be able to run along walls and ceiling at will. There is one other Yoshi's transformation in this game that I should discuss. Yoshi will sprout wings if you use a special item called the Flutter Wings. Whether it appears or not depends entirely on your play status including the number of mistakes you've made in a given level. Because the flutter wings let you float and fly through the air, players who are not usually very good at action games, and even beginners, will be able to enjoy Yoshi's new island. Of course, the series' usual smiley flowers, red coins, and stars are still hidden in each stage. So finishing the game with the coveted complete clear status is very challenging. If you are feeling confident about your skills, please try collecting everything in each stage to further enhance the experience. Yoshi's New Island will launch on March 14. Now let's look at some Nintendo 3DS eShop titles. Let's begin by watching this. What you are looking at right now is a new tactical first-person shooter that will act as a successor to the submarine action game Steel Diver, released back in 2011. Now, when you hear first-person shooter, you may imagine fast-paced action, but this game is 
a bit different than your typical FPS game. In this title, the player must control a submarine that can make quick maneuvers while utilizing the vessel's slow-moving torpedoes. Because of this, you must always strive to be one step ahead of your enemies to stay strategic. I guess you could call it a contemplative FPS. For this reason, we believe the game can be enjoyed by anyone, even people who are not familiar with the FPS game, or those who are usually not very good at fast-paced action gameplay. This title offers players the chance to compete in competitive 4-on-4 four -four team battles. You can challenge friends in local multiplayer mode, or take on anyone from around the world in online multiplayer mode. And in single player, you can play through seven different missions as well. We want anyone who is interested in this contemplative FPS to be able to try it out, so we will be offering a free version. With this version, you can only use two basic submarine types, but you can enjoy the beginning of single player mission mode along with the entire multiplayer. If you upgrade to the paid premium version, you can play every mission single player mode has to offer and gain access to various submarines with unique stats. Steel Diver Sub Wars will be released after today's presentation. If you are interested, please try out the free version. We will also release a game trailer, so please take a look if you are interested. Next, we'll discuss a title that we are announcing today for the first time. It's a Nintendo 3DS download title called Rusty's Real Deal Baseball, which is being developed around the theme of good feelings. I'll explain shortly. The game takes place at the sporting goods shop called Rusty Slugger Sports Shack, owned by ex-pro baseball player Rusty Slugger. Here at his shop, the player can purchase a wide variety of games to enjoy. The games sold at his sports shack are each based on elements of baseball, such as the feeling of hitting, the feeling of catching, the feeling of pitching, the feeling of umpiring, and more, each of which could only be captured by an expert ball player like Rusty, who understands the good feeling of baseball. This one is a game called Bat and Switch. In this game, you have to keep hitting baseballs as they are tossed to you. If you time your hit well, you'll be overcome with a sensation you don't normally get from a traditional baseball game. This single batting game is packed with good feels like that. Cage match conveys a good feeling of hitting from a pitching machine. Feel the glow capture the good feeling of catching baseballs one after another. And make the call provide the good feeling of making narrow calls between ball and strike. Players can purchase all sorts of unique games like these. However, the way you purchase these games through Rusty's Real Deal Baseball is also very unique. When you download the software from the eShop and clear the trial version of the game button switch, you can purchase additional games from the in-game menu. But what's interesting is that you can negotiate its price with Rusty by haggling for some discounts. The key to haggling with Rusty is to offer him items that will win his favor or to listen to his programs and improve his mood. Initially, games cost $4 each, but depending on how well you negotiate, 
you may be able to lower their prices significantly. These discounts will be applied to the actual cost you are paying in real life. So do your best when negotiating with Rusty. Rusty's Real Deal Baseball will be released for free in the Nintendo eShop this April. Next, we have another new game to show you. Pokemon Battle Troze is an action puzzle game that will have you matching Pokemon to clear them while battling against and collecting Pokemon. Every known Pokemon over 700 appear in the game. From Pokemon Red and Blue, all the way to Pokemon X and Y, once you catch them, they become your own Pokemon to use during battles. You will create bonds with Pokemon, you continue to use and they can inflict greater damage to your opponents in battle. Another key to successful battle is to select a Pokemon that has a type advantage over the Pokemon you are facing in battle. The game also offers up to four player co-op play, so team up with other players when you are facing a stage containing a very powerful Pokemon opponent. Pokemon Battle Troze will be released on March 20th. We will also release a game trailer, so please take a look if you are interested. Next, I'd like to pass it over to Nintendo of America for a few announcements. Thanks, Mr. Wada, and hi everyone. Eric Peterson here from Nintendo of America with new information on some of our upcoming games. Let me start off with the Nintendo 3DS exclusive that's right around the corner, Professor Layton and the Azrin Legacy. To get you ready, we'd like to give you an opportunity to get acquainted with one of the series' main characters, one who has stood by Professor Layton's side for the past two games and will share her last adventure with him in this new title. Enjoy. See here, what was that about? <sighs> nice to see you again, Professor Layton. And you are? I'm Emmy Altava, your new assistant. Emmy Altava. She knows what she wants and how to get it. What is that thing? She travels the world with Professor Layton and Luke on their journey to solve the world's most puzzling mysteries. Capturing the scene of the crime with their camera and quick reflexes, she's always in the center of the action. Her methods may be controversial to some, but one thing's for certain. No one can match her tenacity when it comes to investigation. When interrogation gets the team nowhere, she unleashes her fierce roundhouse kick. It's rather persuasive. That is strange. What is it, Professor? Professor? The Mask of Chaos. Emmy keeps the team moving while asking all the right questions, jotting down every last detail. When she's not in the center of the action, Professor, you can bet she's there to witness what are you it. Waiting for? Ah, a written invitation? Huh? Look out! Whoa there! In her last chapter with Professor Layton, Emmy embarks on a journey to solve the mystery of the Azram legacy. We should be arriving shortly. And so the four of us set off in the airship Bostonius to solve the mystery of the so-called living mummy. It was to be the beginning of an epic journey, one that would take us all around the world. And it was the last adventure that I would share with Professor Layton. In addition to the cinematic story and intriguing puzzles the series is known for, Professor Layton and the Azrin Legacy also has a street pass component meant to keep you playing. During your globetrotting adventure, you and the professor will come across all kinds of interesting items along the way. You can even create scavenger hunt-like challenges known as treasure hunts for others that will test their ability to find these items. 
They're hidden in unique locales from all over the game world, so it's no small feat to get them all. And that's where Street Pass comes in. You can select three items you found in any locale and set them as a treasure hunt challenge for people you Street Pass tag. Successfully completing a treasure hunt challenge gives you points that you can exchange for many items you can't get any other way. Good luck and happy Street Pass tagging. Professor Layton and the Azrin Legacy will release exclusively on Nintendo 3DS February 28th. Next, let's look at some games from a few of our development partners. There's one title we wanted to touch on briefly today that Capcom announced late last month. One that's sure to be a monster hit with you. It's official, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate will be coming to Nintendo 3DS in North America. The title will include familiar features, but it's the biggest leap forward for the series yet. New actions mean you'll be able to take on your foes in dynamic new ways. And you'll be able to hunt alongside friends on your handheld via the internet. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate will be coming to Nintendo 3DS in North America in early 2015. Next up, we'll be discussing a new game called Weapon Shop Deomasse. It's the fourth and final title from the Guild 01 series, which has already brought us some solid games like Liberation Maiden and Crimson Shroud. But Weapon Shop Deomasse is definitely its own thing. The game joins the talented developers at level 5 with comedian Yoshiyuki Hirai. Players are tasked with managing a weapon shop inside of a traditional RPG. Instead of going on quests, blacksmith Oyaji and his apprentice Yuhan get to experience the humble life of an RPG shopkeeper, forging and renting out equipment while witnessing a variety of heroes use their weapons and armor in a fight against the evil lord ravaging their world. As you might expect, your role as a blacksmith's apprentice requires you to become a master at making weapons. You do this by tapping the touchscreen in time to music, much like in a rhythm game. If you're able to achieve optimal timing and temperature conditions as you forge, the weapons will be that much stronger. The hero's success or failure hinges on the quality of your weapons, so give it your all when forging. And remember, if the hero fails their mission, you won't get paid for their rental. RPG enthusiasts, this one's for you. We hope you'll give this hilarious game a try when it launches on February 20th, exclusively on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. Now, we'd like to tell you a bit about Inazuma 11. In this soccer RPG, the player helps out young Mark Evans and his fellow Raymond middle schoolers on their mission to go from underdogs to soccer frontier champions. It just so happens that Mark's grandfather was a legendary soccer player in his own right, and his team, called Inazuma 11, won the soccer frontier championships back in their day. It's quite the legacy to live up to. Gameplay is divided into RPG portions, which take place at school and during soccer battles. At school, players can train, recruit, and learn new skills by spending prestige points. You can improve your team members with stat boosts and by leveling up. Soccer matches, on the other hand, are more similar to a tactical sports game. Players can pass, shoot, and duel to determine who keeps possession of the ball. The victory of these soccer battles is determined by your team members' stats, though higher strength moves are more susceptible to fouls. These matches all culminate in shooting, and players have to use all their teammates' special moves to win. These moves can be anything from team-ups with high-intensity acrobatics to flaming tornado kicks and magic hands that block shots. The Inazuma 11 franchise already has a very passionate legion of fans throughout Japan and Europe, and we're happy to announce it will be making its North American debut today. Check out Inazuma 11 exclusively on the Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. In addition to these titles, we'll be seeing a lot of other eShop content over the next couple of months from indie developers as well. We recently met with a few of these talented developers at an eShop software showcase and heard a little bit about their games. Check it out. Hi guys, Krista and Kit here, and today we're joined by Jules from Renegade Kit to talk about Treasure Knots and Moon Chronicles. So let's go with Treasure Knots first. It's a, it's a new platform game uh, for the 3DS, uh, very much about treasure, collecting treasure in these cool uh, kind of labyrinth uh, areas. Uh, and the cool thing is it's a, a two player as well as a one player. So why don't we switch gears a bit and talk about Moon Chronicles. So yeah. It is a mysterious mission to the moon. Uh, Major Kane uh, is traveling to the moon. There's a, a mysterious hatch 
been discovered on the surface. And this is the first full-on first-person shooter on Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, I think it's an adventure, but there's definitely a story element to it which we take very seriously, and, and that's a big uh, component of the game. But there's also quite a bit of puzzle stuff. So I think the mixture of that, the puzzle element with the story element, of course it has the action as well. Uh, well, Shovel Knight is a side-scrolling action-adventure game. Uh, it's like a nostalgia trip, and it's all rendered lovingly in this 8-bit style. Shovel Knight is based around only a couple of like simple mechanics, right? Like you're you're a knight with a shovel, so you can only <laughs> as do the name it. suggests. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've ever played a platform game, or if you had dreams of the '80s, <laughs> then this is something that uh, should just be right up your alley. With Tyrone from Nicholas, and we're going to be talking a little bit about A Thousand One Spikes. A Thousand and One Spikes is a game inspired by a whole generation of 8-bit NES games and we've taken what we've learned and what we've experienced and put it into a killer package that wants to kill you a thousand and one times. Killer package, literally Literally. Speaking. So Retro City Rampage takes the car stealing and open worlds that we love playing today and it matches up with the 8-bit era. So you're collecting power-ups and collecting coins and jumping on enemies and you're also stealing cars and running missions. You can hear even more from these developers in future episodes of our Nintendo Minute show. So tune into our YouTube channel in the coming weeks or subscribe to check them out. And if you like what you've seen and heard, then you'll love how the next few months on the Nintendo eShop are shaping up. Keep an eye out for a wealth of new titles coming from our development partners on the Nintendo eShop for both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. There's a whole lot coming, so don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest releases. Next is a new downloadable game for Wii U from Ubisoft. Child of Light. In this RPG, inspired by fairy tales, you play as Aurora, a young princess on a quest to retrieve three sources of light from the evil queen. You will explore the kingdom of Lemuria, encountering and fighting vile monsters and mythical creatures, and solving puzzles to progress. You are aided in your quest by Igniculus, a firefly who lights your path. Igniculus can help you in battle by healing your party and distracting your enemies, and can also write messages in light to help and interact with other players. A second player can even take control of Igniculus and assist the main player in their quest. Child of Light will be available on the Nintendo eShop for Wii U on April 30th. That's all for me today. Let's pass it back to Mr. Wada for some more first party updates. Mr. Wada? The launch of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is coming up soon. Please have a look at our latest trailer. We are looking forward to seeing our Nintendo Direct viewers on the online leaderboards when Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze comes to Wii U February 21st. 
Next, we have some follow-up information about a previously released Wii U download title, NES Remix. As many of you know, this title collects some of the best moments from early Nintendo Entertainment System games, like Super Mario Bros. and The Legend of Zelda, and remixes them with new challenges and level designs. And now, we decided to release Volume 2, NES Remix 2. In this one, the challenges have been pulled from later NES titles like Super Mario Bros. 3, Kirby's Adventure, and Metroid. Similar to the previous version, it will offer NES stage in which you face new challenges during specific scenes from each title. The game also offers remix stages, special levels from each game that have been modified with fresh new elements. On top of that, this title comes with a full bonus game, Super Luigi Brothers. It's based on a challenge included in the first NES remix that has Luigi's running right to left in World 1-2 of Super Mario Brothers. But this time, it will include all the levels from the game. This adds a new spin to an experience that is likely familiar to a lot of players out there. And of course, you can use Luigi's signature, High Jump 2. NES Remix 2 will be available from the Nintendo eShop on April 25th. In January of last year, we announced that Game Boy Advance titles would eventually make their way to the Wii U Virtual Console service. We are happy to announce that we will finally begin releasing them this spring. Starting in April, we will begin releasing such fan favorite as Metroid Fusion, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3, and more. Over time, we will continue to release more titles, so please stay tuned. Next is Mario Kart 8 for Wii U. This time around, there will be a number of new characters to play as, but they may not be the ones you expect. I hope you like the new trailer. Please enjoy. Mario's Rivals, Bowser's Koopalings, 
are ready to drive up, down, and all on these fresh, new, three-dimensional courses. Mario Kart 8 launches on May 30th. Next, we finally have new information on the latest monolith of title, which is being directed by Mr. Tetsuya Takahashi. Today, we'll provide you with your first look at gameplay with some uncut battle scene. Please take a look. That should give you a sneak peek at some of the exciting battle possibilities ahead. Mr. Takahashi tells us that the game's battle system is based on the one in Xenoblade Chronicles for Wii, but with even more polish. Stay tuned for future update. Our final title for today is Bayonetta 2. I have some new footage that Platinum Games has prepared for us. Please take a look. The Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages, two clans that wielded incredible power just 500 years ago. The clans of the Overseer, watching over us all with the eyes of the world the power to govern light and darkness. Did you miss me? Oh. You want to play with Bayonet? This overseer is the one who created the eyes of the world for humanity. The same ones that the clans held on to so hard. The overseer was the true creator. The true god of the human realm. The god of chaos. The sacred mountain of Fimbleventer. The joint supposed to be the link between Inferno and Paradiso. They say there is an entrance to Inferno, the gates of hell, somewhere on this mountain. No one knows where, though. Huh? You could see me. Because we're both in Pagatoria. Per Gatorio? You can't open the road to Findleventer without my powers. So, what do you say? Umbra Witch! 
Or shall I call you Bayonetta? A lumen sage. Cheeky. No one bothered telling me any of your kind survived. Your impudence will cost you your life, witch! John, I'm on my way. Just behave yourself for a bit longer. Bayonetta 2 is the second installment in the series starring the witch Bayonetta, who wields four guns on both arms and legs. With a variety of magical powers, this stylish heroine is well equipped to dominate the oncoming mass of enemy angels and demons. Dodging enemy attacks at the last possible moment using witch time and the thrill of last minute maneuvering is key to action in Bayonetta. And in Bayonetta 2, there's a powerful new ability that lets you release all the accumulated magic power as a single powerful attack called the Umbran Climax, taking the action to a whole new level. Bayonetta 2 will launch later this year. Stay tuned for more game details in the future. That's it for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching.